HLS Show Me How. Two ways to keep up with the HLS blog. Hi, my name is Mike Gennati. I'm a Microsoft Teams technology specialist for the Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. You can always find me and my colleagues at our site at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. So what's the challenge here? Well, the other day I was in a meeting and I shared our website with a customer and I'm paraphrasing here. So I've made it sound really nice, right? All the goodness. Um, but <clears throat> one of the customers said, look, I, I do go and check your blog uh, quite frequently. Um, but they said, you know, and again, I'm paraphrasing here, your group keeps posting so many helpful things, but it's hard to keep up with it all. How can we subscribe to all the goodness you are all posting? Well, that's a common challenge. And, and to be honest, I, I totally get it. I mean, we're bringing on more and more authors to the HLS blog as our own internal teams see the value of being able to bring messaging at scale and reach so many more of our customers than we can in one-offs each and every time. With that in mind, that means there is a proliferation of new content pretty regularly. And how do you keep up with it? Well, luckily, there's a couple of easy ways that I'm gonna tell you, and then I'm gonna show you how, because this is show me how, right? So here we go. So the solution to all this, first of all, you can join the Microsoft Tech community. If you go to our blog at aka.ms slash HLS blog. In the upper right hand corner, there's an area for profile. You'll also see a place to sign in. You can simply sign up for the tech community. And then on our blog, you'll see a subscribe button that you can select. I'll show you that in just a moment. Another way that you can do this is you can go ahead and grab the RSS feed. So maybe you don't want to subscribe but you wanna be able to keep up with things. Well, thankfully for you and for everybody out there, Microsoft Outlook is a great RSS client. It allows you to pull in RSS feeds to keep up to date with things. And so we can go ahead, grab the RSS feed that our blog site does provide, add it to Outlook, and then personally, you can see the updates, the new posts as they come in, and then you can click to go out to them. But that allows you to personally do that. But here's the best way to do it. And we're gonna show you all three. The best way is to grab that RSS feed, but instead of putting it in Outlook, create a channel in a Microsoft team that you and your colleagues use. Perhaps you're on a team that actually is doing a lot around healthcare and collaboration. Uh, maybe you're clinical life sciences and you're doing a lot around, you know, application dev and power platform, et cetera. And you got, and your group wants to keep up with that. You can then create a channel in your uh, team and then add the RSS connected to it and bam, you're going to have a dynamically fed update that you and your whole team can go ahead, discuss and make actionable. Again, I'm going to show you how to do all three of these. They're all three fairly straightforward, but it does help to actually see it in action. So with that in mind, let's go ahead to today's demonstration. All right, the first way to go ahead, as we mentioned, there's three, is to simply follow the blog. To do that, you'll have to sign in. If you have not signed into Tech Communities, when you click up here, it'll prompt you to create an account. Go ahead and create it. Come back to the blog, aka.ms slash HLS blog. Click follow and that's it just like that you will have access within the tech communities to that particular uh, blog the other way though well there's one of two this is number two out of three you can click rss we're going to grab this entire link up here click copy come down to microsoft outlook and you're going to see a box for rss feeds you'll simply right click on there you can say Go ahead, add a new RSS feed. We're going to select there. We're going to click add, add this to it. I can click advanced so I can actually name it. We'll call this HLS blog, click OK, select yes. And then it's going to go through just like that. And it's going to begin grabbing um, 
the various uh, feeds that are there. You can do it that way. The other way that you can also add is coming, if you have an older client, go to account settings, account settings, and then under RS feeds, you can always add a new, or you can change a given blog and add that. So we have a couple of ways to go ahead and do that there. The third way though, and the best way is this. We're gonna come in here. I have a demo site and I have a tech team. So I created this Microsoft team for our tech group that's actually got to, you know, deliver solutions, et cetera, around Microsoft 365 uh, services to their organization, be it healthcare, be it a life science, medical devices, manufacturing, whatever the case is, they need to do that. So we want to create an area for the entire team to keep up to date on the latest around this. So what we're going to do is create a new channel and I'm going to select add channel and we will call this channel the HLS blog posts and discussions channel right there. And we'll go ahead and leave it standard. We're going to select add. <clears throat> it is going to create this channel for us. And there it is. And you can see here we have conversations. What we want to do though now is to actually bring in the app for RSS. So I'm going to click apps. We're going to type in RSS. There is the RSS connector. We're going to select add to team. And for our team, we want to search our team. And I had, oh shoot, did I call it M365 or Microsoft? Here we go. We have general. There is the, te the tech team. So we want to do the HLS. There we go. HLS blog posts and discussions. We're going to select that, say set up the connector. It's going to tie it to that particular channel. Then it says give an enter a name for your connection. HLS blog. There we go. The address. And how often would we like to receive it? We can do weekly, daily, every 12 hours, 6 hours, every hour, 30 minutes, 15. Just because this is a demo, we're going to select 15. Select save. And it's going to go do its little magic. It's going out. Boom, it's setting up, it's configured. We are done. You can see it says one configured. We'll go ahead and close. We're not going to set up any additional. And look at what we got here. It's now feeding in, it's done a roll up. Every 15 minutes, it's going to look for the latest. I can select more. And it's going to grab these different uh, pieces that we have done, right? So we can go in and then once we're here, we can start, you know, a discussion. Hey, have you checked out the latest on this, right? Or it'd be a question mark. So now we can actually start threaded discussions. We can make things actionable. We can work with it, but it's a great way to keep up to date. By the way, the same uh, technique can be used if you go out to the Microsoft 365 roadmap. So if I'm going to type that in Microsoft 365 roadmap and we're going to do a search for it. There it is. Select that. Notice how we have filters and there is RSS. So we can do it across everything. Maybe I just want to do, oh, let's see. Uh, we're going to do Office 365. Let's blow that out. Maybe we don't want all of this. We just want, oh, let's say around Microsoft Teams. There we go. Want to grab that RSS. Here is that RSS feature. So we can grab that and add that as well. So we have some great ways to add this. I hope you found this helpful. We can subscribe, right? We can follow simply by becoming a member and clicking follow, and then you'll be following this one. We can also go in, we can add it to Microsoft Outlook. And finally, we can add this to a Microsoft Team channel and it'll show up in the conversations. 
So that's it. It's easy for uh, the blog. If you want to keep up to date, three ways to follow. Simply go ahead. You know, also if you do have an RSS reader dedicated, you can certainly uh, pull things in that way. Um, but just go over to aka.ms slash HLS blog, either sign in and follow or grab the RSS, which you can then drop into your Outlook or drop into a channel for a given Microsoft team. Great way to do things. Hope you found this helpful. Find all of my colleagues as well as myself at the blog at aka.ms slash HLS blog. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and linkedin.com slash in slash Mike Gennady. You can find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Gennady. And finally, I have a Facebook page as well at facebook.com slash mgennady. Again, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching today and take care. And as always, ciao.